What's up, everyone? We're back. This is Lights On Season 4, presented by Gloving.com, and of course, sponsored by our good friends over at Glow Beverages. I'm Wheat. And I'm Ninetales. And Ninetales, we're back again every week, and we're talking to the people through a camera, but they need to know why. Why are we here talking to them? Why are we here today? So today, we will be talking with one of our IGL judges, Pretzel. We'll be revealing the top five matches from the top 32, and we also have matchups to check out from the top 16. That's right, and before we go into all of that, I just wanna give a quick shout out to all of our judges. Our judges are doing amazing work. They're actually scoring everyone's videos right now. And of course, I have to shout out our social media. Make sure to follow along. We do have an Instagram page, Facebook page, and Facebook groups. Make sure to follow along for all the latest and greatest news in the IGL. Nine Tails. Yes, we. Do you like pretzels? I do, not often, but they're good. Why do you like pretzels? I like when they're warm and out of the oven. Well, I like pretzels because they're actually just really good glovers. All the way from Canada, our IGL judge pretzel is gonna actually break down transitions for you guys and help you guys understand that so you can get better and score higher. Camera guy, roll it. Hey guys, it's Pretzel here, currently judging uh, N5 bracket for execution and N4 for presentation. And I just wanted to go over a few tips and tricks regarding the transition section of the scorecard. It's out of four points and it's the Glover's ability to move between concepts cleanly and in different variations. And I'm going to go over a few things that I do to guarantee that I'm hitting it at least close or getting those four points for that section of the scorecard. Now one is, is hitting transitions cleanly so that you want to have good angles hitting those grid points and you want to have clear connections and intentional connections as well as like clearly isolated so like if this is your control hand or your isolated hand it's not moving and your other hand's kind of controlling it around vice versa makes it look a lot cleaner and then ways to build your bag of tricks of transitions um, one way I found is finding new pathways by just holding one hand and finding each pathway up and out, switching to the other hand, whether it's over, stuff like that, going through each finger, different ways, such as, and just taking your time, going one finger at a time, one hand at a time, and you'll end up coming with, up with a lot of new, different transitions and pathways and connections that you might have not thought of before. Some good examples for people with great transitions and execution in general would be uh, Mega Sloth. Pop it. and Glovesin, to name a few. Highly recommend checking out their videos for more inspiration and new connections. And yeah, good luck to everyone in this season. And there you guys go, that is Pretzel, our IGL judge who's trying to help you guys understand transitions and help you score higher and lights on. And now let's move forward into the top five picks from the top 32, starting with number five. And at number five, we have MIA, gloving out of the Philippines. He's an N6 in the novice bracket, representing Team Luminescence. Yeah, this guy, amazing show. I love the amount of energy he throws in. You might actually be able to see it here with him hitting the drop and everything. He really just throws himself into his show, throws hard whips, and I love it when someone's able to capture the energy of these like really heavy future bass songs like this. Yeah, I totally agree. Look at that energy, straight into the whips. It just looks really good, nice color set. Yeah, props to him, but let's move on to number four. And the number four spot goes to Nex, K-Nex. We don't know how to properly pronounce it. If anyone can please inform us, that would be great. Let us know in the comments. 
but he's gloving out of Washington, representing Team Safe. And honestly, I've been a big fan of this guy for a while. I love his recording setups. Yeah, his recording setups are great. You know, he chose a good song. I see a lot of people using this song, but it's always good to see somebody use it uniquely. Yeah, it's definitely has a much different vibe to it than I have seen other shows. I love the amount of slow tech he uses while mixing in different styles of tuts and finger tutting. Really amazing show from him. I'm expecting to see a lot more from him in the future. But I say let's move on. We could check out the number three spot. And in the number three spot, we do have Flusso gloving in the Challenger C2 bracket and gloving out of Michigan representing Team Dot. You know, when I saw this live show, I just thought it was so unique. You know, I've, I've actually never heard of him before, but looking at this, he's got like every directional change like imaginable and I just, it was so eye-catching. Oh yeah, and he has just such clean and slow tech. And going slow is very, very, very hard to do while making it look clean. And big props to this guy. Again, if you guys want to check out any of these videos, you can find them on gloving.com slash lights on. I highly recommend watching these. But well, let's move on to the number two spot. Now in our number two spot, we have Havoc repping team TNT gloving out of New York, and he's actually in the pro bracket. Yes, he is, and it's really awesome seeing him glove. I love his extremely powerful impacting style, and he's really, really creative. I love the concepts he's able to come up with. However, he's going to sit at that number two spot because he's wearing a Cloud9 jersey. Uh, it's, you know, it's okay to like the wrong teams. Personally, I'm a TSM fanboy, so sorry, Havoc. Have to make fun of you a little bit there. But I'm glad to see him gloving. I'm glad to see him in this season. I wish for him the best. Let's move on to number one. And the number one spot goes to a challenger in the Challenger C3 bracket. Who is it? Papa Panda. Is there any kid pandas in here? I actually don't know. I want to know who his children are. But There's a few pandas in here. We have a lot of pandas. He's actually going up against Panda Ninja. Ooh, we got a panda battle. Yeah, so I really hope you guys don't think that there is any pandas being harmed in this loving battle, but there's not. There's just sick light shows. And you can check that out right here. Papa Panda, he's known for his creativity, he's known for his tech, and he's known for his presence. He throws himself into his shows. Yeah, he's a, he's a real performer, that's what, I, that's what I would say. Yeah, always love his shows. It's really amazing seeing him in Lights On and doing so well. Congratulations to him for grabbing the number one spot. And of course, if you guys want to watch any of these videos, check them out on www.gloving.com slash lights on. And those were our top five picks from the top 32. Of course, we have top 16 videos in right now. All the judges are currently busy scoring them. But as you guys saw last week, there is an amazing amount of matchups that so are just many. super sick. I need you guys to check them out. You can check them out on gloving.com slash lights on. But camera guy, let's roll this little highlight clip and show people what matchups they should be watching. Let's watch it. Go. Those were crazy. Those are crazy. Those were crazy. If you guys want to check them out, 
Again, glowing.com slash lights on. I know we say that link a lot. It's because we want you guys to click it. We're gonna drop it in the chat. Check out all the videos. All of them. All of them. Just watch every single video from season one to season four. I know you guys have the time to watch every single one. But there's some amazing videos for you to check out and there's so much to learn. Just keep studying and you guys are just gonna get better and better. And that's our show. Wanna give a huge shout out to our sponsors at Glow Beverages and Weep. Where can they find more details? Uh, details about what? About light shows. Oh, you can find them on our social media pages. We do have Facebook, Facebook groups, and Instagram page. They're all at International Gloving League. Make sure you follow along for all the latest and greatest news in Lights On and Boss and light shows and light show competitions. We're going to catch you guys next week when we reveal who advances to the top eight of Lights On Season 4 across all ten brackets. See you guys soon.